So here's what I've been up to the last couple days. Um, getting ready for the tournament, 1850 points. So I've been kind of scrambling around with a new list, but just got together a venerable dreadnought there. We've got two squads, five apiece of assault terminators with uh, jump packs. We've got close combat weapons in all of them, except we have power fist and two plasma pistols in each of the uh, squads as well. Also needed some other guys put together here. Um, this squad here is actually a complete squad. Uh, they will be running with my command squad, but they're all close combat weapons, bolt pistol and close combat weapon. And we've got one melt -a gun back here and then one power fist back here as well. And then these four guys here are actually finishing off another uh, Crusader squad. Again, close combat weapon, uh, bolt pistols all the way through and they already I've already got the uh, melt -a gun and power fist guys made up and painted for that squad. So the only thing I've got left that I'm waiting on is uh, two more predators and once I get them put together I'll at least have everything for my uh, list for the tournament this month and uh, you know I encourage anybody in the uh, Northeast Ohio area you know, November 27th on um, JAC games try to get down there uh, I'm gonna give some further details uh, about the tournament and I'll also put the link in the uh, description area so hope to see you guys there I'm going to attempt to read off the uh, tournament rules for JAC Games Warhammer 40k tournament this uh, month, November. Uh, date is the 27th. Um, I'll give the uh, link in the description as well. Uh, follow the link, get the same information as well as the uh, address and contact information for the shop. Uh, this is in uh, Akron, Ohio, so if you're in Northeast Ohio or you want to make a further trek, you know, I encourage you guys to come down and have some fun with us. But here we go. Uh, description as given by Sarge is we will be holding our next monthly 40k tournament on Saturday, November 27th. There will not be a December tourney due to all the holidays falling on Saturdays. This month's tourney is going to be a little different in terms of prize support, points, etc. explained below. All lists are to be 1,850 points. In honor of tanks giving, yes, that's tanks giving, every list must include at least one heavy support choice. It must occupy a heavy support slot in your force organization chart, so taking something as a dedicated transport will not apply for this mandatory selection. It has to be a heavy support slot on the force organization chart. This Thanksgiving heavy support choice will also be worth additional battle point modifiers in every game. Plus one if you destroyed your opponents. Plus one if yours survives. If you're running more than one heavy support, then you must nominate one of them to be your Thanksgiving special choice before deployment. And let your opponent know which one it is before anyone deploys. If your heavy support special is a vehicle, walker, squad of any kind, then more than 50% of the vehicles or walkers must be alive to count as surviving. For example, three kilocans as the Thanksgiving special. If two of them are destroyed, then opponent gets plus one and you do not get the plus one. So that's just the uh, first bit of information. There's also a bit that goes into uh, using the named independent character HQs and whatnot. 
uh, there must have been some uh, uh, I guess unpleasantries or people you know basically just sick of seeing the same uh, models on the board every time that people play so the uh, quote here is another new rule we will be trying for this tournament is how can that jerk be in every battle everywhere in the friggin galaxy every time I fight this army which I got a pretty good laugh out of reading that but anyways anyone who runs a named HQ character from a codex will receive a minus two battle point modifier each game if you run two named HQs then you will receive a minus four battle point modifier modifier to your final score we're all sick and tired of facing the same cheese ball characters every month let's try and mix things up here people it's getting boring so just another uh, thing you know something different this month and lastly uh, scoring and prize support will be a little different this month as well uh, there will be a five dollar entrance fee all entrance fee money will be paid out to the top three places in the tournament we will also be using our quarterly uh, GW prize support money in the form of a raffle. Everyone who participates in the tourney will receive one ticket in a raffle drawing. The raffle drawing will be for $90, $60, and $30 in prize support. If one of the players who finished in the top three get their ticket drawn and the amount is for more than their tourney winnings, then their tourney winnings will be put back into the pool and drawn for. They will for as they will take the higher dollar prize so in summary six different players will win prize support no one can win twice and everyone who participates has a chance to win and the only other information here is the basic uh agenda or schedule if you will which i'm not going to read that off it's going to be easier for you guys just to basically follow the link get this information yourselves uh last bring at least three copies of your list preferably five one for you one for your opponents and one for the tourney organizer army builder will not be available at the shop the day of the tournament so have your list ready and printed in advance and very last is all models must be WYSIWYG what you see is what you get so if you got any questions about it feel free to shoot me a PM I'll help you if I can if not, I'll try to direct you to the guys at the shop. But again, just follow the link at the bottom. I'll take you right to the shop's uh, webpage and uh, same information is found on there. So again, Northeast Ohio or out further if you feel like making a drive. But we're going to be in Akron, Ohio on November 27th starting at noon for registration. So hopefully you see some of you guys there.